My name is John Luke Solvit, I'm a senior animator at Mercury Films, and I've been working in the industry for about five and a half, six years now. My responsibilities as an animator, or senior animator, is to enhance the overall quality of the production, as well as assist and help junior animators to expand and grow their skills in animation. My favorite part working uh, in Ola Season 2 has to be uh, the lore and the world itself that I get to experience. There's so much mystery, so much like magic. Uh, the characters are fun to, to see and grow together in the relationship. It was a pleasure just to be able to be a part of that and to uh, express myself in that world as well. As an animator, we kind of perform into the characters, so we have to get a sense of what, it, what are the characters are thinking, what are they feeling, um, what are the consequences of their actions. And you sort of have to take all of this into consideration when you're attacking a scene. Well, I overcame that by allowing myself to feel the emotions that the characters are feeling, so if Hilda was very sad in a scene, then I would allow myself to feel sad. I would allow myself to feel angry, and sometimes, sometimes it was hard certain weeks, um, but uh, that's how I was able to get through these scenes, those particular hard shots. David was actually the first character I animated on the show when I first jumped on, and he's sort of this wimpy kid with a big heart, and I can see a lot of myself into that character when I was a kid. So that's like one end of the spectrum. And on the other hand, you have uh, the bellkeeper, who's more jaded, cynical. He's given up on life a little bit, you know? He's uh, a little bit more hard to please, and uh, I see a lot of myself today into that character in some aspects of the world or in my life. So it was fun to kind of tap into those two reservoirs of my experiences. I think the what makes Hilda so special is the world itself and how it taps into people's wants into the show. So kids, I think, are more adventurous and they love to gamble a little bit on uh, what they do. There's mystery and there's a lot of cool stuff that happens. And I think for an older demographic, uh, they can relate more to the characters emotionally and they can relate more to scenarios that happen in the show between Hilda and her, her mom or Hilda and her friends. What I'm most excited to see in this season is um, reactions to particular episodes. There's some shows and episodes that was hard for me to get through, not on a technical level, but just on an emotional level. The relationship between the characters are so great and they're so wonderful that you can't help but love these characters and you can't help but feel what they're feeling. And um, as an animator, I had to stop myself sometimes just to not cry or, you know, or be angry. I'm excited to see that reaction, to see what people think of, of uh, these relationships growing. You can watch Hilda season two on Netflix. Definitely check it out.